Zach Tui comes in. Thumping ball. He has got every bit of it. Yeah, well, I got home a couple of weeks ago, the day before the county semi final. You never forget where you're from, and, and um, it's what I miss most about being away from home is not being able to play with Port Leash. And um, as, as it works out, the off season kind of falls around this time of year every year, so I'm always kind of knocking around for, uh, for kind of the business end of the championship. So I've been lucky in that regard, but yeah, it's it's still my team, you know. I mean, I know it means so much to Zach to get home to the club, and it means so much that he's playing for the club. That's the proudest day of my life is when he won his first county final, sporting events like you know I've seen him playing at AFL and all the rest. Of Play them to town, it's hard to beat that. I didn't really plan on playing, to be honest. Kind of got to half time and things weren't looking great, and um, I kind of told them I was pretty good to go, so I just wanted to get out there. Probably got a bit of overconfidence from last night's goal. I'm not known for my goal scoring over here, so ah, look, it was just good to get out, and it would have been nice to score a goal, but it doesn't matter as long as we won. Ideally, I would have loved to have stayed and, and not left at all, but you know, a great opportunity arose for me and I had to take it, so it's given me a lifestyle that I wouldn't have had I stayed home, but um, you know, Port Leash is still my number one team. I've signed on for another three years, been there four already, so things are looking good and the team's you know, heading in the right direction over there, so hopefully... Um, you know, I guess my AFL goal is to be uh, the second Irish guy to win a premiership. Oh, he pumps it. He sends it long. There's his first goal in AFL footy. Chances are I'll probably still end up moving home at the end of my career. But even if I do decide to stay out there, I'll probably put at least one year aside where I will come home for the for the football season and, and give it a one good lash. In my opinion, he plays well on the big day in general, you know. I've seen him in Croke Park playing well in the MCG in Melbourne, and that's that's when he's at his best. Zach Duhinish, Shanta Hall, back in the head, not the head of Hall in Simeon, against Zach Duhinish. He loves this game, and uh, I knew he didn't want to go back to Australia and have them guys slagging him off as they would, you know what I mean? So it means a lot to him, and in many ways it might mean more to him than it would to some of the Irish guys, because he has to go back and live with these lads, you know what I mean? It's the highest honour you can get, you know, I think I think everyone would agree with that. So to play for Ireland, to play against guys I know and a couple of my own teammates makes it kind of even extra special. I remember the first day he went, he was only, you know, 17, 18, and just to put him on the plane and let him off into the big wide world, nobody wants to do that with their kid, but it's nice that he's out there doing something he loves because there's so many Irish guys out there who probably don't want to be out there doing something maybe they don't want to do, you know, so I'm very proud of him. He's achieved a lot, you know, in a short space of time.